Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we're doing another Spotlight on Plugins. We're talking about the TG Tools Easy Tremolos plugin today, which can be found in the Plugins menu under the TG Tools section. Now, this is the TG Tools Lite set of plugins that come with Finale, so if you have Finale, you have these plugins, and we're talking about the Easy Tremolos. And before we get into that, let me just uh, explain real quick that the tremolos we're talking about are these types of tremolos, the ones that go between the notes, not the ones that go on the notes. These are actually entered as articulations, not at, not with this uh, plugin. So we're dealing with these uh, sort of piano type of, of tremolos. Now to get these tremolos, you'd think that what you'd want to do to you know reproduce this is actually just enter an octave whole note like that. But when we go into the TG Tools Easy Tremolos plugin and uh, we select go, um, nothing happens. So the uh, trick to this is that this is not how you enter these tremolos. In order to get these types of tremolos, you actually have to enter two notes sequentially that are exactly half the value of the tremolo that you want. So to get whole notes, we enter two half notes in a row in the order that we want the tremolo to appear. And then we select that measure and then we go here easy tremolos and click go and you'll see it will turn those two half notes into a whole note tremolo. Now it, the order does matter because if I were to do this the opposite way I could get a tremolo here but it would be the opposite. You'd see the top note first and then the bottom note which is if, if that's what you want to see then that's how you do that. Um, we can also do more than one note. In fact we can reproduce this very easily. Again it's all about making sure that the order of the notes are exactly how you want them to appear. So in this case I'll enter you know, a half note D and G sharp followed by a half note B and E. And then we can select this measure and run the plugin and you'll see that you can get a chord to have tremolos like that. You can do this with any number of pitches that you want. So you could have three on the left, two on the right, two on the left, three on the right, however you want to set it up. Uh, it's totally possible. Again, you have to half the value. So if we wanted a half note tremolos, we have to enter quarter notes, right? So two quarter notes there, two quarter notes there. And we can do these all at once just by selecting the whole measure and we'll get two half note tremolos, right? Easy peasy once you understand that you have to enter half the value. We can do quarter note tremolos by entering um, eight eighth notes, just like that. You get quarter note tremolos. And again, these values can be whatever you want. If we want to do eighth note tremolos, that's right. We have to enter 16th notes, just like that. And we can get uh, eighth note tremolos, all right? Now, the other thing to realize is that uh, this plugin will leave alone isolated notes. So if I do something like, you know, let's say I'm going to enter two eighth notes, a quarter note, two eighth notes, uh, and a quarter note, right? The plugin is looking at, at consecutive similar rhythms. So it's going to look at these two eighth notes and combine these into a quarter note tremolo, but this quarter note is sort of isolated by itself. It doesn't have a partner, so it's not going to combine into a tremolo. So when I do it like this, you'll see that it will just combine those eighth notes into quarter note tremolos and leave the isolated rhythms uh, by themselves. Now we can also do, oops, we can also do um, dotted notes. So uh, in, in you have to kind of think a little bit um, creatively here. So if you want a, a dotted half note tremolo, you do actually have to enter the notes exactly half the value. So you do have to enter a dotted quarter note followed by a dotted quarter note to get a dotted half note tremolo. Now this is not how we would normally enter this bar like this. Uh, in 4-4 time, but this is how you have to do this in order for the tremolo to treat that as a dotted half note situation. See what I'm saying? And of course this will work in compound meter as well. You know, if you want a dotted whole note tremolo, obviously you need to do two uh, dotted half notes in a row to get your dotted whole note tremolo. Alright, so lots of different um, well, lots of different ways to do it. The last thing I'm going to mention is you can actually do triplets, but you do have to be really really careful so let me just enter a few quarter note triplets here and uh, you can select um, uh, rhythms to combine into tremolos but the thing that the, the plugin has a problem with it can't really handle is when the the two similar notes like this are cr across different triplets so if I actually tried to select these two notes and run the tremolo you're gonna get something really really awkward here that's not going to work so you do have to be a little bit cautious of that you can do it on um, rhythms within 
the tuplet, certainly. So if I select these two quarter notes, it will definitely combine into a half note tremolo for me. Uh, I could even do these two here and get it to combine like that. But again, if I select the whole measure, because part of the selection is two similar rhythms between triplets, it confuses the plugin and you get something awful looking like that, which is not at all what you want to do. So just you can do triplets, you just have to be careful. Now let's just look at some of the options here. You'll see the first thing is total number of beams. So we can certainly play with that. So you know by default, number three is the, the normal way this is set up and is probably how you should have it set up. But you can certainly do four and get four beams. Uh, we can do five and get five beams. I don't actually have to keep undoing that. We can just run the plug in again. We can do two. However many beams that you want, you can certainly do. Now this sometimes comes in handy if you have some really quick rhythms. Like if we do, let's say I'm going to do 16th note tremolos, right? So I have to enter 32nd notes. Uh, if I were to do three total beams here, um, that's going to look a little weird because it's kind of 16th, but there's only one tremolo beam between. So maybe this would be better if this was four, right? And then you can actually kind of see that there's actually a bit of a tremolo uh, between the 16th notes. So occasionally it is handy to be able to do more than three, and that would be probably one case for it. And then let's look at this avoid accidental on notes with stems. Um, so I'm just going to do this on this bar where I actually have some accidentals and press go. And you'll see um, because these are half notes, it's sort of combining the, the tremolo beams connect all the way across. So um, it's not really avoiding the accidentals. I should say that the avoidance here is horizontally, not vertically. The vertical avoidance is going to be kind of built in anyway, so that's not something we have control over. It's the uh, horizontal um, uh, avoidance that we're talking about. So in this particular case, there is nothing horizontally because the beams are not broken. However, if I were to shorten these rhythms, let's make these, um, let's make these 16th notes so that we get 8th note tremolos and uh, try this again with the avoid accidentals on. Um, what you're going to end up seeing is these really, really short beams, uh, tremolo beams here. And the reason for this is that um, it's trying to avoid horizontally the accidentals, which kind of doesn't make a lot of sense because you kind of don't really need to because there's plenty of space above it for these to go. So my preference is actually to leave this option off. And when you press go, what you'll see is that those beams will kind of overlap where it thinks it, it sh it's supposed to be. In, in a wider measure, it kind of makes a little bit more sense, but um, more often than not, when you have these types of shorter tremolos with uh, stems, they're going to be in a tighter spacing. So uh, it almost doesn't really ever make sense to have this option checked, but uh, it is there, and that's exactly what's going on. And then let's look at this final note, create a playback note. So let me just go back here. We'll create this one more time. And uh, I'm going to click uh, create playback notes. And I'll talk about this in a second. We press go. And you've got your tremolo. It doesn't look like anything weird happened. And in fact, if I go into speedy entry, it's all it all it makes sense. Um, but in layer four, what it will do is we'll add a whole bunch of notes. And you can see me arrowing over which means that there's a bunch of rhythms here. And actually, if I just start unhiding them, you'll see all of these rhythms appear. And these are literally just playback notes that the plugin is creating um, to play back this uh, tremolo. Now, this is sort of an old thing with Finale because human playback didn't used to exist, and so there was no way to interpret this. But now, Finale will actually interpret these uh, tremolo beams correctly. So there really is not much reason to ha to use this. You can still use it if you want, particularly if you have human playback turned off for whatever reason. You can still create the tremolos to play back by uh, checking this option. And for whatever reason, if you wanted to override the human playback if it was on and you wanted to do it the old-fashioned way, you can check both of these options and do that. 99% of the time, you really don't need to deal with this, particularly if you're using human playback. Just leave that turned off. Finale interprets these things uh, for, for tremolos playback anyway, so uh, really no reason to check that. 
Now, occasionally when we start creating these tremolos, they may not be precisely the way that you want them to look. And in fact, I'm just going down here to this bottom system uh, where things are a little bit tighter. And actually I did this with that avoid that accidental collision turned on. So this is why we're getting some weird results with these beams. And uh, But you're gonna run into situations where you're gonna need to adjust these anyway. And we can, if you know how, the key to this is realizing that these tremolos are actually just beams that the plugin is faking. These are actual beams and it does some other funky stuff with the note heads to change them to what they're supposed to be and all this stuff. Um, but if we know that they're beams, we can go into the special tools and use some of the beam tools to adjust these things. So let's start with uh, this one here, which is called the beam extension tool. And when you click that, you have to be in the right layer. There we go. Um, you can click in a measure and you'll get two handles on the upper left and upper right side. Now this beam extension tool, if you just drag it to the left, will literally extend the beams left and right. So you do have a lot more control over these things than you might think uh, with these special tools. And particularly over here, you know, you definitely want to make these a little bit more, you know, closer to the stem. So we can certainly do that. Uh, to get that uh, looking a little bit better. So that's the beam extension tool in the special tools tool. Uh, the other one that's handy for these is this one, which is the beam angle tool, in case you wanna change the height or the angle of these uh, tremolo beams. What you can do is click in the measure and you get two uh, handles again. And the one on the left will actually change the entire height of the uh, tremolo beams. The one on the right will actually change the angle. So you do have much more control over these things than you might uh, believe. And that's exactly how you do it with those two tools. We can also sometimes use the note position tool if you really want to. And with this note position tool, if you can find the handle, you can actually uh, you know, change that one on the right to, uh, to, you know, to go a little bit further right or further left, um, which will in turn, as you can see, extend the beam uh, proportionally. So that's another uh, option available to you. It's that very first one, which is called the note position tool. All right, so this is this is the built-in TG Tools uh, Easy Tremolos plugin. So let's start talking about the other one, the pro version of this, uh, in the music section called Tremolos. And I'm going to put a link in the description of the video uh, to the TG Tools website so that you can get this if you want it. And the Tremolos uh, plugin from the TG Tools pro version um, is kind of similar to the... Um, to the light version that you get, but it has a, a whole lot more options. And uh, when we do this, we get this uh, this Tremolos plugin window, and it's sort of set up. If you click defaults, I've been playing with this before. If you click defaults, the default settings will set up exactly like the light version. So just hitting defaults and pressing go will give you Tremolos that will look exactly the same as these easy Tremolos over here. So. Uh, just out of the bat, that's how that works. But we have a whole bunch of different options, a few different tabs, uh, which gives us a little bit more control. So first of all, the number of beams is the same as the, the other one. But we also have this one for half notes, connect how many outer beams to the stem, which is kind of interesting. So for, for these guys right here, you know, if I were to select one here and rerun this plugin, uh, what you'll see is your half notes get looked like that, or you can actually do two. Um, you know, so there's some other uh, you know options available uh, with that. There is avoid accidentals on notes with stems in addition to without stems. Again, I just prefer to leave both of these off. Uh, kind of gives me a better uh, looking thing most of the time. And on uh, the bottom of this, this is actually just sort of an overall thing. You can check to create new tremolos within the selection, or if you uncheck that, you can simply modify the existing tremolos if you were to make changes elsewhere here. And then, um, or you can just select the delete existing tremolos, and that will literally just delete all of the, uh, the tremolos uh, from existence in that selection. So that's what's going on there. Um, and then in the playback, create playback notes. This is like from the other plugin, except we have a little bit more control. Now we can actually control the playback speed, how many times per quarter notes in these tremolos. Um, and we can set it to only use these playback notes if there are three beams or more. 
Um, again, the override human playback option. I'm just going to kind of gloss over these a little bit or move a little bit quickly. Um, the positioning pane is, is kind of op uh, interesting. Now, these positionings are actually going to affect what I just showed you with the uh, special tools where you can kind of move the beams left and right and up and down. Um, this will sort of do it automatically. And uh, this is an interesting window because I believe that these values are all EVPUs. So regardless of whatever measurement unit you're using in your score, I believe these are all EVPUs. And this first one, vertical beam adjustment for whole note. So that's going to affect the first measure and the second measure because these are going to be whole note beams. Um, if we put in a value like 20, just press go. Um, actually, let me do zero so you can see how it is normally. You see the, the position of these tremolo beams here and here. If I put in 20, what happens is that this one goes down and this one goes up. Um, it's getting a little bit more centered on the notes, I think. And one goes down and one goes up because of the way the initial stem of the first note is. I believe that's what's going on. So in this first measure, this, the stem of the first note goes up. So this value pushes the, the beams down. In this one, the initial stems would go down, so it pushes the beams upwards. I don't know. I guess that's just how that works. But um, anyway, so a value of like 15 or 20 here, it seems to actually kind of center these a little bit nicer for you. So uh, that's an, an option as well. These left horizontal beam offsets for notes with and without stems and the right uh, with and without stems. These are also EVPUs, and this affects the, the uh, distance between the stem and the beginning of the tremolo beam or the end of the tremolo beam. And interestingly, I believe that these values are backwards because I, I think that this is should be without and this one should be with. Um, for whatever reason, it's just it just I think it's just set up backwards. And uh, I won't get too fussy with this, but uh, I found some values that I kind of like here that I'll just plug in for you so you can kind of see what this looks like. Uh, negative 10, negative 8, 10, positive 10, and positive 8. And watch all the, the, you know, the, the tremolo beams in between the stems here and see how they get adjusted a little bit. You can see that they kind of get a little bit closer uh, to the stems, which is a little bit nicer, particularly these on the uh, the eighth note tremolos here, so you can fuss with these values a little bit if you want, but uh, you know these values here: twenty, negative ten, negative eight, ten, and eight. Um, for this particular passage of music, seem to work pretty well. Um, so you can fuss with those if you want. There's this option in stems. Now, if we check this, shorten stems for unbeamed notes, and click OK, you'll see something weird happen over here where the stems get shorter based on these values. I'm kind of glossing over this because I don't particularly know how useful this is. So, you know, it is what it is, but you can fuss with that if you want. And then the final pane here, uh, beams, we have the option to use a variable number of beams. So remember, we can actually set the number of beams for our tremolos. Well, this will actually allow us to set the number of beams based on the value of the, the rhythms, which is kind of cool. So for whole notes or half notes, which is white note heads, we can set three beams, three beams for quarter notes, for eighth notes, three, for sixteenths, four, thirty seconds, five, etc. So if I just change this eighth note one to four, uh, what you'll see is these two guys here will get a, an extra beam. So this is actually kind of a nifty uh, nifty thing that you can you can set up if you have this checked. Um, and get some variable beaming dep depending on rhythms. And for this one, for shorter notes, keep number of slashes constant. You know, if you're doing tremolos on notes that are shorter than 30 second notes, I believe you probably should have your head examined because I just don't know why you'd want to have a tremolo on a 64th note. So <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not even going to explore that option because I feel like it's, it's very um, unuseful. And then the nice thing about this Pro plugin is that however you set this up with playback, any of these panes, all of these settings, um, Finale or the, the plugin will remember these settings. So you can close this plugin, do some more work, come back here uh, to that tremolo setting, and um, everything will be set up exactly the way that you had it set up before, which is really nice. You don't have to always go in through here and set everything up. Um, and of course, if you always want to start over, just press the defaults button and you'll get back to the way it looks in the regular 
Easy Tremolo's version from the uh, plugins menu. So, um, so yeah, so that's what's going on with the Tremolo's plugin. This is the pro version. Again, I'm going to put a link in the description to the website so you can get that if you want. Actually, all of these TG tools, uh, the pro versions here, they're really kind of cool. They've, there's so many great plugins in this uh, plugin set. So I would encourage you uh, to get those. All right, so that's it for TG Tools Easy Tremolos, which is over here, and TG Tools Tremolos plugin, the pro version, which is right there. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful and enlightening. And uh, yeah, so you'll have a lot more information about uh, creating these piano style tremolos. All right, so once again, thanks for watching. This has been a Spotlight on Plugins. My name is Jason. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will see you soon on the next video.